the two reasons never to date in van life because the person is going to try to convert you if you're not ready to be done with van life and if you still have a lot more exploring and adventuring you and maybe they're not the exploring and adventure type people like to travel but do they like to be a nomad and explore and be here for three months be there for three months so they're gonna try to convert you and that might be a good thing if y'all are equally yoked but you don't know that until you give up your lifestyle that you enjoying that's making you happy and you find out y'all not equally yoked then so that's the first thing they're gonna try to convert you and you if you ain't ready to be converted that's the reason why you should never date in a van the second thing is they're gonna try to put you down now i don't care what kind of van you live in you can live in a pro master you can live in a ford um a Ford van, you can live in a mini camper van, whatever, they are going to judge your lifestyle. Like you live in a van. You, you know, they're gonna they're gonna put down that lifestyle. Not everybody, but certain people. You know how you get into an argument and everybody both per people say awful things to one another. So like what I said, like in a particular relationship I was in, when he tried to put me down and say, Oh, you live in a van, I had to let him know that you're in debt, you have all these failed businesses. You got a lot of problems. You got a lot of problems. It's funny because when you're not looking for anybody, you're just trying to get your life right. That's when you meet someone, right? You're not looking for somebody. I went to, um, I had came back from Upper Peninsula, which is in Michigan, with my friend, Andrea. We were on the road 13 days. When I got finished with Andrea, I wasn't ready to go home, but she went back to Georgia. So I met this lady friend on YouTube and she was like, hey, you can come to my house. Let's let's do it. So we became friends. I went to her house. I stayed a couple of days. I've been to her house twice. I stayed in her driveway. And you know, van life is it's regular life, right? We do regular life things. So we went to Belle Isle, but we also went to a casino. I remember being in Detroit in my 20s. And I was like, let's go to the casino. Let's go to the casino. And she was like, oh, okay. And so we went to the casino and uh, we were at this restaurant, right? It was like, okay, how a casino is it? If y'all been to a casino, if y'all know anything about casinos, y'all know what I'm talking about. So this rest, so they have like a restaurant area, and it might be four or five different restaurants. Well, these two particular restaurants, they sell, they both sell like a Detroit chili dog, and I guess these Detroit chili dogs are supposed to be famous. So we couldn't decide which place we wanted to go to. So my friend, in all of her ways, said, "This guy was walking past. She was like, hey, what restaurant should we go to?'" And he was like, "She was like, which one got the best coney dog?" And he pointed to the restaurant. He's like, come on, I'll show y'all. So as we were going in, there's a kiosk to pay. You don't pay at the counter. You pay at this kiosk. And so he just stuck his card in. He was like, what do y'all want? And we like, we just want a Coney dog. And so he bought our Coney dog and he was about to leave. My friend was like, no, you could join us. You know, and I'm like, yeah, sit down. You just bought us Coney's. Let's talk. We got to talking. We were talking about everything. We were just laughing and cracking up. Everybody was just vibing. We just had this good vibe going on. And I said something, and he, he wrote it down. He was like, I'm going to put what you said on a T-shirt. He's like, where you from? I'm like, hey, you know I ain't from here. And he was like, you ain't from here, girl. Bye. Whatever. So I was like, okay. So we got to talking, and me, him, and my fr friend. And then after we ate our chili dog, I don't think he ate. He said he had just come from eating something on lip. He had just got through eating, so he didn't eat. I don't think he ate. And um, so we ended up uh, going to, he was like, y'all drink, y'all want a glass of wine or something? So we ended up having a glass of wine with him. And the long of a short story, um, we, me and him ended up exchanging numbers and keeping in touch. And not being in a relationship, but kind of just being in a, I don't know what to call it. But when it was good, it was good. But when it went bad, it went bad. And the two things I heard was, one, trying to convert you. You're not going to be doing that lifestyle forever, the conversion thing. The second thing is the put down. Why are you living in a van? Where you, you know, the put down. So um, I got into a van. Rather you get into a van life. Wait a minute, y'all, one second. So I'm not going to say that was my van van lifestyle relationship lifestyle problem but being a woman in a van i got into a van to explore and to not like 
link up you know i just don't want to link up now i've heard from people and they're like what is it like to date in a van can you date in a van can you have a relationship in a van and y'all see people on youtube i know a couple of youtube couples who are van dwellers and they're in a relationship living in a van everybody that is in a relationship living in a van i'm trying to think mostly everybody i know got their own van now some of them i think i know one couple he lives in his van, you know, his element, and I think she lives in a house or something. I don't know how that works out or whatever, but everybody got, and this is so, everybody got uh, how they make it work. And I'm just saying, I think that until you figure out what you're doing, a relationship not going to work. I can't imagine how two people could live in the same van and be in a relationship. I remember a group, a group. I remember a young couple, no, novel, novel culture or something, they were in a relationship in a van. They made it work. They were college kids and they made it look sexy, but um, it's just difficult. So my advice is no relationship. I'm going to try to find this clip of me and Proud Mary singing and uh, of us just hanging out. And if I can find a clip, I'm going to put it after this. So thank y'all for watching. I just wanted to, I don't know why I wanted to share that. I'm not really into sharing personal stuff on this channel or too much personal stuff, but I felt the need to share that. All right. Big wheels keep on turning. Turning. Proud Mary keeps on burning, burning, and we rolling, 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 rolling down I seventy five, <laughs> rolling down I seventy five, and we're rolling, rolling. Proud Mary's rolling, rolling on the river, rolling down the road, <laughs> rolling down the road, and we're rolling, and it's freedom, yes, and it's fun, yes. We keep on, we'll say big wheels keep, keep on, on turning. turning. Proud, Proud Mary keeps keep on rolling, rolling. and we're rolling, rolling. Big wheels keep on turning, turning. Proud Mary keeps on burning, burning. And we rolling, 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 rolling down I seventy five, <laughs> rolling down I seventy five. And we're rolling, rolling. Proud Mary's rolling, rolling. Oh. I'm Frankie. The channel is Joy Route as in live your best life, whatever that means to you. For me, that means living full time in my mini camper van. I live in my van, I work in my van, I worship in my van, I chill in my van, I read in my van, I exercise in my van, I do everything in my van. I road trip, I take road trips, I, I'm a nomad, I go different places. Occasionally you might catch me in an Airbnb, or a hotel, mostly you'll catch me at campgrounds. On this channel, I share my experience of living full time in a van. I share van tips and travel tips and tips to keep your energy in order. I'm an enterologist, which simply means one who studies energy. I also share chip tips on how I create and sell digital products every now and then. I'll make that type of video because people ask me, how I can live in a van and travel and be on the road and also um, pay money toward getting a box of both. So that's this channel. I want to inspire you. I want to, if you're out there and you're not living your best life, whatever that means to you, I want to be a light. I want to inspire you to live your best life. Life is really short. It's too short not to create too short not to use your imagination, too short not to build, not tear down, but not to build. Life is too short. So may I be a light unto you.